Hey crypto friends, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. In today's educational trading video, you guys are going to learn all about a super simple day trading strategy with the MACD indicator and MACD crossovers as well. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel and new to trading, if you are interested in trading and would like to try out the same crypto exchange that I've been using for the last four years, feel free to go ahead and check out MACC with the link in the video description down below this video. I personally love this exchange because for one big reason, all right, I'm a huge altcoin nerd, hence the name Altcoin Radar, and MACC has over 1,500 different altcoins for anybody to buy at any given time. But the cool thing is, is they are always adding new altcoins on a regular basis, which is one of the big, big things I love. So when I find a really good small cap altcoin, MACC usually has it, which is awesome. So guys, let's go ahead and learn about MACD stuff, all right? So for those of you who are new, um, if you are not on TradingView yet, you need to get a TradingView account. Uh, just go to TradingView and you can sign up for a free account. That's what I use. I just use a basic free account. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to add um, your coins to your watch list, uh, which basically... Um, let's see here, you would go to this plus sign up here and you just type in BTC, USDT, and it will come up with, uh, well, I have it set for, you know, since I'm on MACC, it only shows what's on MACC. Um, but it's going to show a bunch of exchanges here and show uh, Bitcoin on all kinds of different exchanges. You're just going to choose whatever one and you're going to click this plus icon right here and it's going to add it to your list over here. So you will have Bitcoin here. Now, you want to add your indicator. You want to add your MACD indicator, so you come to indicators up here, and then you just type in MACD, and it would be the moving average convergence divergence. And you just click on it, and it's going to add it right down here, okay? So guys, as we all know, crypto is extremely volatile and unpredictable, and it realistically requires a very strategic approach to navigate successfully, to be honest with you, which is why I share all kinds of various basic strategies that have honestly helped me immensely in the past, all right? I have evolved from trading a lot in the past. Um, I used to use all these indicators on a regular basis, but I'm at the point now where realistically, I really don't need them. Uh, and I basically trade based off of price action, but that comes with time. But on that note, one powerful tool that you want in your toolbox is the MACD indicator, which is honestly a very widely used momentum indicator that provides insights into the strength and direction of various trends. So with the MACD indicator, we have basically got two moving averages, okay, which is these lines right here. So we basically got two moving averages, which are the MACD line and the signal line. And we also have a histogram too, representing the difference between the two lines. So crossovers of these lines can be extremely beneficial and offer signals for good entry and exit points, all right? Now, as you guys can clearly see here, the histogram is very nice. It works very well in tandem with both of these averages. Um, so we'll talk about that later when I go through and show you guys different examples. But MACD crossovers, or the first thing that we're going to talk about here is identifying trends with, with MACD, okay? MACD crossovers will help you identify trends by simply plotting the relationship between short-term and long-term moving averages. So basically, a bullish crossover occurs when the MACD line crosses over the signal line, um, basically signaling a potential upward momentum. And on the other hand, a bearish crossover is where the MACD line crosses below the signal line and suggests a potential downtrend. All right. Now I'll show you some examples of this. Um, so if you were day trading and you were using the hourly chart, that's what the chart I will use here to show you the examples on. So if you were trading this, I'll show you a good example here. All right. So as you guys can clearly see, all right. These two lines ended up crossing here, all right? The two lines ended up crossing, and you can see it on the histogram, too. When the, you know, we've got, uh, we went from dark green bars, which means we have a lot of momentum going on, and then they started to turn a lighter color green, which typically means momentum is starting to fall, okay? And the bar's starting to get smaller also, and this is all the types of things you need to be looking at. Now, the bar started to get small, and then eventually we ended up turning into red bars, dark red bars, which means cell momentum is starting to pick up, and the larger the bar gets, the more and more momentum there is as far as cell pressure, okay? And as you guys can clearly see, 
uh, the cross happened right obviously when we turned into red here and that is what I am talking about as far as the crosses are concerned okay um, as you guys can see price action when that happened was right around right around this level right in here and as you guys can clearly see uh, we didn't drop too much I mean we dropped roughly let's see here we dropped roughly right about two percent or so but the big drop didn't happen till later but that's the key thing if you were to for instance if you were to place a short order up here and you would have wrote out this whole thing you would have made some pretty darn good profit because as you guys can clearly see we didn't get a crossover to bullish territory again it ended up continuing to go deeper all right and you can clearly see that on the chart right here as well and you can see it in the histogram also uh, sell pressure ended up getting smaller and smaller but it eventually ended up picking up again hardcore and it ended up getting going straight down pretty much so if you were to have end up shorting that let's see here you would have made without leverage you know if you were to ride it down to here um, you would have made roughly about 7.8 percent but with leverage if you were using like 10x leverage or something like that trading the futures market you would have made roughly around 70 percent 70 to 80 percent somewhere around there so that is what i'm talking about as far as the macd being uh, or identifying trends with the macd can be extremely extremely valuable now something to keep in mind here is and you'll hear me talk about this a lot with a lot of these indicator videos that i do is you don't just want to use one single indi indicator to make your buy and sell decisions you want to be able to have confirmation with other indicators as well okay uh, which is why you see typically uh, like for instance I have the Bollinger Bands turned on right now as well um, but that's for another video I'll save that this video is purely about the MACD indicator and that's pretty much it so the next thing I want to talk about here is going to be entry points okay trading with MACD crossovers typically involves entering positions when the MACD signals a bullish crossover or a bearish crossover and it's kind of nice because honestly this can act as confirmation of a new trend direction as well however do not solely use the MACD to make your entry decisions you simply want to confirm this bias with other indicators as well uh, you can confirm it with other indicators current price action and market sediment as well okay so as far as this is concerned um I kind of already covered this in the last couple you know in the last couple minutes I was talking about this as far as entry points uh but we'll go ahead and do a bullish scenario here real quick okay so for instance as you guys can clearly see here momentum started to drop on the R or sorry not RSI on the MACD and you can clearly see it on the histogram as well so because of that happened a line cross was about to happen as well all right and that clearly did happen right down in here all right and price action was let's see where was price action when that happened price action was right about in here so that pretty much tells you you know hey momentum is shifting we are starting to get bullish and price is going to end up starting to go bullish at some point in time here real soon all right so and you can clearly see that on the chart here as well that is exactly what happened so if you were to have entered right there entered a long position right after you got confirmation that yes bullish momentum is starting to build if you were to have ridden that all the way to the top to where it started to um, taper off again let's see here tapering off started right around well we had a good one right in there so we'll go with this good one right there uh, right around like 4.9 percent we'll just say five percent so if you would have been trading futures and you would have went long there and with 10x leverage or something like that you would have made roughly about 50 percent in profits right there all right so that is what I am talking about as far as using it for entry points all right but again you don't want to simply use just the indicator for your entry and exit points because sometimes these can give false signals and you will end up you'll end up in a bad trade all right so after finding potential entry points you will want to read the histogram too okay the histogram is basically derived from the difference between the MACD line and the signal line and basically serves as an additional confirmation tool basically a rising histogram indicates increasing momentum and the same is true in a falling histogram which basically means momentum is getting smaller and I'll use the same example again you guys you can clearly see it right in here with the colors all right you can see it with the colors and the size of the bars as well all right um, you know momentum is starting to get smaller and smaller and the bars start turning lighter and lighter pink um, therefore hey that means that should be a you know that should tell you right there that okay well 
sell pressure is starting to get minimized smaller and smaller so that means you know buy pressure is starting to build more and more and that's exactly what happened right in here you guys all right so what about exit strategies knowing when to exit a trade is pretty darn crucial and if you're trading the crypto futures market you might want to consider exiting a long position when a bearish crossover is about to happen or looks like it's about to happen or when the price approaches a significant resistance level as well now the same concept goes for short positions also uh, for short positions you simply might want to exit when a bullish crossover starts happening or when the price approaches a key support level so um let me go back a little further we'll do another example um let's see here so yeah we'll take a look at this one this one's a perfect example right here this little upswing right in here all right so as you guys can clearly see bullish momentum started to take off you can see it in the histogram with the colors of the bars and the size of the bars as well and you can also see it within the two moving average lines here also all right they started to kind of open up all right you can, they started to open up more and more and more now towards the top here you can clearly see towards the top which is this top right here um buy pressure was still pretty strong up there but the next one was pure light green all right now that one should be a good indicator that sell pressure is starting to build okay and now the next one the next candle would have been solid confirmation to sell all right you can clearly see this one little next candle which is which aligns with this next little with this next light green bar where you know it's, it's showing us that you know okay well uh things are being confirmed here that sell pressure is increasing and we are going to start going down and uh, that would have been a good spot to sell right there okay so if you were to have go long right down in here where pretty much this whole thing started you were to go along here and go all the way up to right in this area and sell right in this area you would have made roughly around 50 percent with 10x leverage right there all right so that is what I am talking about when I'm talking about using them for you can use it for entry and exit points and all kinds of things you guys all right there's a lot of stuff to be seen and there's a lot of things you can tell by using these ty different types of momentum indicators all right uh, realistically I'll have to go ahead and make a video soon here uh, specifically about support and resistance levels as well just so you guys can get a good idea of you know how that all works too so Overall here though, you guys, trading crypto with MACD crossovers can be extremely empowering um, to interpret market trends and by understanding the signals provided by the MACD crossovers, you will be able to enhance your ability to enter and exit positions at very good times, okay? However, it's extremely, extremely important to remember that no strategy is ever guaranteed and you always want to make sure that you're using proper risk management in your trading as well. But mastering MACD crossovers can be an extremely valuable addition to your overall trading toolkit now if any of you guys have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video or anything that's related to altcoins or trading or anything like that feel free to go ahead and reach out to me in my free community discord server which you can find a link to in the description below this video as well but overall here you guys that's gonna pretty much do it for this video so I will go ahead and wrap this one up but before you guys leave if you haven't already and you would like to go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis and hey guys with that said thanks for watching